My name is Eric, I'm a filmmaker and photographer, and today I want to speak about my solar system. This is one of the most frequently asked questions by my friends, and so I thought I could make a video about it, because there's probably more people who don't know how it works. We'll speak about my solar system, and I will give you some tips how to install them yourself. So let's start on the top. I went with 330 watts of solar panels, which for me is basically all I could ever need. Even on a not so sunny day, it's, it's enough to, to keep the batteries full at all time. For me, it was important to keep the look of the 90s camper, and I want to make it invisible that there's solar on the roof. So I went with those flexible, super thin, uh, off-grid tech, marine grade panels. They're super light, and you can actually walk on them if you want to. Next, let's check out the inside. For the charge controller, I went with the uh, Boatronic 350 Triple. If you, if you have normal consumption, you can probably get away with a normal charge controller. But since I'm using so much energy on the road, uh, I went with the Triple. And the special thing is, you can not only use the solar from the roof, you can also get energy from a normal household to charge your battery. And you can also use um, your car to charge the battery. For me that was perfect because uh, I could assure when I'm on the road I'm charging the battery with the car, when I'm arriving at my destination the battery is full and then the solar panels will keep it full. For my inverter I went with a 500 watt pure sign inverter. The battery was the hardest part for me to choose. I had no idea how much I needed and what type of battery was the best, um, so I read in online forums for a couple of weeks <laughs> that actually left me more confused uh, than it gave me uh, guidance uh, what to choose. Basically you have about four different options. The cheapest one is a lead acid battery which is basically a big car battery and that's not ideal. Car batteries are not made uh, to be discharged uh, under 80% and having only 20% of the capacity of the battery is not really a good option. AGM and gel batteries have a way longer lifespan than a classical lead acid battery and also you can discharge them way deeper. If you treat those batteries well you can go as deep as 50% of its capacity which is actually quite good. The most expensive option is a lithium ion battery. It's basically a big smartphone battery. It's pretty awesome. With the capacity I needed I would have spent around 4000 euros just for the battery alone. The price is slowly dropping, so maybe in a couple of years they will be more affordable. But right now the best option is an AGM or a gel battery. Most new RVs that already come with a solar system have around 150 watt hours of uh, solar power and around 150 amp hours of uh, battery capacity. If you are a normal user, this sort of setup should be enough for you. I ended up with a fully sealed 260 amp hour AGM battery from OffGoTech. And I gotta say, it was a perfect fit. Um, I never ran out of energy and I probably never will. When I started this project, I had actually no idea from solar. I only knew it's sort of magic that comes from the sun and it goes into your battery and now you can charge all your devices. But that was all I knew. And so it was really intimidating, uh, the whole process. But when I'm looking back at it, it was actually fairly simple and you can totally do it on your own. For me it was great, uh, I had a couple of friends who uh, actually done it before and they helped me with it, but it's fairly simple. First you have to clean your roof. Now you have to find a good spot for the panels. Ideally you want to have a spot where you're really close to the access point where you want to drill the hole, hold the cable, so you won't end up with any uh, messy cable routing. You continue to uh, roughen up the surface so the, the glue will have a, a better hold and grip to your roof. Now onto the panels. First you have to use the activator to get rid of all the leftover dirt and residue on the roof. For the glue we used uh, Sika Flex, which is really handy to uh, install basically anything. You never want to move again. It is very important that you not only cover the edges and the sides of the panel, you also have to cover the middle of the panels in even lines. After you carefully put them on the roof, uh, apply pressure to uh, spread the glue evenly. Depending on how hot or cold it is, the panels have to sit about 24 to 48 hours 
to ensure a perfect and long lasting fit. Every panel has a plus and a minus output and you will plug them together in a way that you will end up with one positive and one negative lead that goes into the roof. This for me was the scariest part uh, because uh, drilling in the roof of my own home is kind of an unpleasant uh, experience. We used a little box on, on top so um, if you apply this very well and let it sit like the panels for 24 hours um, you should be fine. The two wires now run through my closet down to the charge controller. You can just mount the charge controller on the wall. From the charge controller you now go to the plus and minus of the battery and connect it there. And that's pretty much all you need for the input of your solar system. Now on to the output. All you need to do is basically take the plus and minus from your battery and connect it to the inverter and from the inverter you will end up with a household. Um, now to the output. If you have a lot of 12 volt uh, devices like phones and tablets and all that, uh, what you also can do is connect uh, a direct output coming from the battery so uh, you don't have to go from 12 volt to 230 volt and then back to 12 volt again because you lose a lot of energy in the process. Also if you uh, don't feel comfortable enough to do it yourself um, I was super scared that it would cost a lot of money to have it done by professionals. I asked a couple, uh, couple of companies that do that and in the end it maybe cost like 300 bucks which is fair for the amount of work uh, that it takes. I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, if you do have any questions uh, please write them in the comments below and I will try to answer them. <laughs> And if you like this video, um, this is a brand new channel, so every new subscriber is very welcome. If you're not convinced yet, there's a two minute video about my life right here. And I'm gonna be waiting here until you subscribed. I'll wait. <laughs>